leave a comment down below to have a chance to win a full set of enchanted and upgraded Karina gear. And make sure you're subscribed to enter the giveaway. Uh, I'll pick anyone at random when this video hits 10,000 views. Hello YouTube! In this video, I'll be going over 10 tips and tricks that you may or may not know in Arkham Odyssey. And this, this can like help you in like just playing around Arkham Odyssey or just like if you already know them, well, it just reassures you about them. And also, if you've seen my video before, do subscribe. It's free. You can also subscribe later. And I'm trying to hit a thousand subs and like the video. Can we get 10 likes in this video? So let's begin. In number 10 in this list, if you are a mage and you use something called like the leap, if you use the, the spell called leap, the way you can use it is if you use just a singular one. So this one is set to uh, one, which is the highest range. Every time you touch the ground, you actually reset it. So I can like spam it every time I hit the ground. But let's say uh, if I just go to like a wall right here. Let's say you you try to use it after like you're climbing. You can't use it. It will it will doesn't have a cooldown. It won't regen its cooldown. And you can use it while you're in the air or whatever you do you have to touch the ground again in order for it to recharge so use this wisely to be honest like it's uh, let's say in during battle it doesn't take from your stamina as much as what a T jump takes so it's pretty useful to be honest and it really helps if you're like trying to climb these type of walls because you can't T jump but you can like just spam that and that's it it's pretty simple Next thing I want to talk about is what is the best ship in the game and this is a simple one, it's the Caravel. Um, many people they th like think that oh the most expensive ship in the game is the most, it's the best one but right now as of currently it's actually the Caravel and the reason for that is the Caravel can actually have something called a ramp. For mages they we can use something called swift lesser fire ramp. Or like a, a magic ram and basically this can do up to 1800 damage on a hit if you have it fully charged and you can like basically take a ship down by like 2000 health in an instant we have to hit them and it also like slows them down so you can like get a cannon shot if, if you want to so here's a demonstration of it so here we see a navy sailboat and just by ramming it if I can get the ram in there we go that did a thousand three two hundred damage. Like it just one shot the ship. That's how strong it is. And overall, it's just a really fun mechanic to mess around with. If you're not a mage, you can still get the magic ram. I think it doesn't do as much damage, but like you can also just use other rams. A neat little trick that you can do for finding uh, the ink, the underwater ruins, as well. Just looking underwater. And if you have at least seven graphics, this is like it's really good. Like if you don't get much lag, and it's like pretty, you can look pretty far. If you just look around, as you can see, there's something right here. Then you can just go right on top of it, and boom, you can see literally all the sharks and everything. And this helps. This goes really well with the next tip. Uh, if you're, it doesn't matter what um, what class you are. Uh, if you're like a warrior, conjurer, doesn't matter. If you use guns against uh, sharks, it works really well. So you can use a musket. You can use uh, dual bronze flintlocks. It doesn't matter. Guns just work really well, and like this is what is like they do like enough damage against them. So watch this. See. Just kill the shark in like one shot with a with a musket. There's two more. Should probably run. Yeah, there's a lot of sharks. So use a gun. Works really well. Uh, let's see. Another one. Two shots. Boom. See, makes it much easier. And it really is pretty fast. Then there's one more shark there. Ah, uh, that's a fish. Well then, look, everything's clear. Then. What we can do now is just park our ship right on top of the ancient ruin. And this one is pretty like pretty shallow, like it's not that um it's not that low, so you can just 
get get the stuff like this without having to worry. So here is a tip on how you can solo canvas. First thing is you can make your build doesn't matter like what type of build it is. I have like a pretty average build basically so like 50 power, 800 defense is pretty decent. You can go for more power doesn't matter but it's like pretty, this is a pretty average build. And here's a trick on how you can beat Calvus solo. So, I've beaten Calvus when I was at level 100 and basically the main thing you want to do is you make sure he doesn't get to charge his, uh, his explosion attack. So when he's charging up this attack, always attack him. I dodge it as well, but like always attack when he's doing that. And whenever he's doing the big explosion attack, hasn't done it yet, that one, try to hit him as fast as you can. Like, you can, like, it, it doesn't matter how, like, uh, where he is, just, just hit him. It doesn't matter. Because that, if you let that charge, that's going to do, like, a thousand damage, basically. So, that's why you want to hit it. And when he's doing this charge, well, it's pretty simple. Just, just hit him. And he, sometimes he does get glitched. Well, like, he, like, um, does multiple attacks at once, which is very annoying. But, that's, it's fine. And as you can see, he's doing barely any damage using those explosion attacks. Here's another trick, or tip, you can say. Uh, whenever there's merchant ships, always check what they have. Because sometimes, you can get really lucky. Uh, this one doesn't really have anything interesting. Uh, sometimes there can be something called a die merchant, where you can basically die your stuff. And you can make it look really cool. Oh, there's another one. And let's see what this person has. Nothing interesting. Again, uh, sometimes they can have an arc sphere. Like, like you can just buy the arc sphere if you wanted to, or you can also color your armor from it. So as you can see, the thing I'm wearing right now, that I've painted. I've even painted this and my pants, and like it, they look red. They look really nice. And yeah, like this is all the thing that you can dye. So if you don't get the perfect color, you can just dye it if you want to. The next tip I want to talk about is always upgrade your gear first before you go enchant. So the reason for this is I have a sunken sword and it is already pre-enchanted. This is from the World of Magic era and it's level 70. I want to upgrade it, but when I go to upgrade it, well, there's a problem. And the problem is, it costs a lot. And this is like, um, this is what it costs uh, when it's enchanted. And if we do by highest rarity, if we try to enchant a normal rare weapon, it actually costs like 120. And if you can see here, even the trailer stuff bronze, which is level 110, costs 148 to upgrade. And this is what I mean. You shouldn't upgrade your, like, you should upgrade your gear first before you enchant it and if you want to prepare for like future updates and stuff don't enchant your gear because like if I try to go and enchant or like disenchant um, if you try to go disenchant anything well you're gonna be hit with a big fat cost and for some people this is very easy to get for some people it's not but on your rare weapons you don't like look at this this is a rare chest plate, chest piece, 1,098, 680, 362. Like, if you try to disenchant all of this just to upgrade them again, it adds up really fast. And especially on amulets, because you went through a 1,000, literally. And this one is a 1,000 to enchant, but you're obviously going to use a scroll on it because you don't want to just put it to random chance, won't you? So. Upgrade your gear first before you enchant and if you want to set up for the next update when the level cap increases, well, don't enchant. You just want to save money, then just do that. In the recent patch, uh, recent update I mean, um, pick your fights because basically running away is much more difficult. So what happened is when you go into uh, combat mode, so when you are in battle, your dashing actually takes much more stamina than it usually does and it's way enough like as you can see look at how little the dash is and this is basically like 
to stop people from uh, trying to uh, run away during a battle. And yeah, it's just like pick your fights wisely because you may not survive from them. And here's another PvP tip. Always attack last. So you can see Karina here trying to attack me. Your positioning is key and like uh, even in PvP or PvE, you want to attack last. So the reason for that is what well, you see it like how like how Karina like um, gets stuck in between her, her attacks. Use that to your advantage. So you want to dodge the attack first and well then you want to attack back. So as you can see while she was dashing to me I did, I did an attack. Again. So while she was dashing to me I did an attack. attack. Um, Sometimes this is a bit more difficult than said so like let's say the person is a light user they're really fast so you want to fight back with like how aggressive they are so if they're really aggressive well you have to like be as aggressive as them and you want to like basically counter attack them this is easier said than done but with a little bit of practice you can do it really easily and yeah it's just a simple tick trick as you can see, I'm like barely getting any damage because I'm dodging all their attacks. But this is in PvE. Even in PvP, you can try to do the same thing. But of course, players are much smarter than AI, so it takes a bit of practice to do. But just have confidence. If you keep, sh if you keep like getting scared and like keep trying to running away and you keep messing up, like then you're gonna mess up obviously. So be as calm as you can when you're fighting a player because every single mistake there counts. The final tip I want to talk about is the new swivel, I mean like the new add-ons for your ships. And the thing I have is called a swivel gun. And if you can see right here, that's what it is. Uh, it, there's different ones for each build. Uh, there's like a harpoon gun, there's like a, SNES, a net, net launcher. There's the swivel gun which is for magic, like mages or conjurers and stuff like that. And basically, the reason you would want this is this actually helps you get a higher chance in like getting shark loot so uh like you can get better uh, you can get like a higher chance of getting like let's say wide eye scale or you can get a higher chance on getting like the poison dagger like poison jaws dagger and like this is just a trick for you basically so the rates have actually been decreased on getting the items from sharks so for getting the poison jaws uh dagger uh, before it was like normal, like it was like the set, the set it was. I don't know, I don't remember the percentage, but basically, uh, that percentage is now applied to the swivel gun, and I forgot to respawn my ship. But basically, the swivel gun has a higher chance than if you try to kill it, kill poison jaws with your bare hands, and it's like three times the difference. So you have three times the more chance to get a poison jaws dagger or a wide eye scale or like any shark fin by using a silver gun than if you would kill it by using a gun or like uh, a magic or anything else and this is what it actually looks like if you haven't already seen this, this swivel gun thing or videos on it there we go on caravels they have it on the back and they're basically like infinite ammo and they have magic and they don't use ammo like on magic storage so they're pretty spammy and they're really nice so yeah just try to use them more so i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like leave a comment on what these tips you already knew or if you already knew all of them or what the ones you didn't know and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in the next one bye